Just last year, 6,200 fires ravaged the Pacific coast, resulting in nearly a million acres in damage, 23,000 buildings destroyed, and 100 civilians and six firefighters killed. And that's just in California alone. I remember last year around the November 16 time period where the Paradise Fires had took strong impact on my community. They had put so much smoke into our local atmosphere that it became very cloudy and was very difficult to breathe for members of our community. After speaking to the fire department, we were informed of multiple reasons why a fire would occur. They also answered back with a bunch of questions such as, how many sensors would you be able to deploy to cast a net large enough to see all the uninhabited areas of the state? Current devices are extremely expensive and unreliable. They also use lots of power and don't have Wi-Fi capabilities. Also, to reach uninhabited areas, we plan to have one network that spans a large distance with multiple sensors in order to have a wide range of data and values. In the forest, we will not have easy access to power or internet. Thus, our solution consists of features such as running on one battery for five years and transmitting over several kilometers, and found LoRa to be the best option due to its low power consumption and high transmission distance. Our solution currently consists of five components. The node, which collects and transmits the data, the gateway, which receives the data, and then forwards the data to TTN, or the Things Network. This is an application server that sends the data to Cayenne, and Kayan is a web application that will allow us to view the data and alert the firefighters of the presence of a wildfire using text. In order to test our device, we need to take proper safety measurements, especially because we're using an open flame. Our computer screen has just updated and is showing the updated values. As you can see, our temperature value increased to 25 degrees Celsius and our humidity to 22%. I have just received a text message notifying me of the location of the fire, the current temperature, wind speed, and the nearest city to the node. In order to protect our device, we decided to 3D print a case using ASA filament, which is incredibly durable in outdoor environments. The development didn't stop there. We presented our idea at the Climate Action Summit, where we received suggestions from various tech and climate specialists regarding using AI to make models based on our data, finding more suitable and stronger materials for the outer casing, as well as finding a primary market for our product. By preventing these fires, we'd be able to save billions of dollars lost in infrastructure. We would be able to save the many lives that are lost to both animals and plants following these events. And lastly, we'd be able to drastically reduce the carbon emissions that occur after these tragic wildfires.